So now, if you take a look at the catalog item, So this is the catalog item that you have created. So in the catalog item, you have created five variables. Now, how the catalog form will look like, we can see. See, this is how the catalog form will look like. Okay. So what my customer is asking is that, so I have to show this catalog variables in two columns. We are able to show it in one column, right? We should be able to show it in two columns. So what do we have to do in this case? What do we have to do in this case? Here, we have to split the variables. We have to split the variables. How do we split the variables? You have to create a new variable that is actually for splitting purpose. container start order is actually 50 okay Container split two fifty order two fifty guys. Remember this point based on the order splitting will happen. See, we are able to show it in two columns or not? Container start is start of the split. Yes. Container split is actually, here we are actually splitting order 100, 200, 250 we are actually splitting here. And another column is actually coming after 300, 400, 500. You we take a look at 50, right? Sorry? We are given 50. See here, container, container start as 50. Hmm? And uh, requested for is actually 100. Requested by is 200. 250 is actually container split. Let me give here as 350. Two hundred, three fifty, four hundred. This one, let me give here as two fifty, here as three hundred. Mm -hmm. 
now if you if you refresh this one see this is how the catalog form is looking like okay requested for requested by email phone number department okay so requested for can be you can request for anyone you can for you can request for yourself but requested by will be always same do you agree or not requested by will always be same who is the current logged in user that person is actually the requested by right requested for means you can request for yourself you can request for someone else right that is why this requested for is actually editable this requested by is actually read only okay clear yes sir okay so here are this department i want to pass it here where is department for this department i am actually giving 225 see why am i keeping the order gap here can any one of you guys guess why am i giving 50 100 200 300 400 400 400 something like that why am i giving the order gap so that new items can be added tomorrow if customer has come and then he says like new new variable should be created means in that case you can actually give the order in between these numbers okay we will just refresh this one yes 